This is a special edition episode, a um, nerdy one for professional speakers. Ever since I posted this picture of my home studio on Instagram, I've had a lot of uh, questions, emails from uh, colleagues on how to, specifics like what to buy, how to set it up and things like that. So I thought some of you at least would uh, appreciate a demo. Uh, before we dive into all this uh, geeky tech stuff, of course, you don't need any of this. Uh, the number one tip for anyone who wants to make a living as a pro speaker is not changed. It was never about technology, uh, good looking slides or high tech streaming equipment, things like that. My number one tip is still the same. You are the presentation. Keep that in mind. And one more thing. There are thousands of ways you can do online keynotes. Uh, with today's technology, you can live stream from your phone on the go. So this is just one way um, of doing it. And um, if you want to copy any of it, I'll post links down below to uh, all the equipment I'll talk about. So, um, you know, and, and no, I don't make any money promoting this. This is just my um, honest uh, way of trying to help you get better. Um, first and most important is audio. Um, if you want to keep the attention of an online audience, you have to make sure they can hear you okay. And the way I do it is with a lavalier microphone, just like the ones we use in big conference rooms. This here is a, a Sennheiser to a wireless sender and receiver so I can move around without worrying about it, but you can use any kind of microphone, uh, probably even your phone headset. Just get something close to your mouth. Uh, you should also think about how to soundproof the room you're in. Maybe you need some, um, some wall padding. Um, you can, of course, go bananas and buy um, audio elements for professional studio walls and things like that, or, or you can just use some blankets or something. The idea is um, to stop the sound from bouncing around flat surfaces like walls and windows. Next up is the video feed. Um, you can use a web camera. Most computers have a decent one. Uh, I use a DSLR. This is to get a better image quality. The sensor in the DSLR is bigger, so the picture quality looks better. And I can set it into manual mode. Uh, this means everything from um, brightness and white balance, all these settings is fixed the way I want it. So it doesn't matter what happens with the, with the room, with the lights or anything like that. Uh, you know, the picture will stay the same. The center in my setup is this uh, production switcher. This is the, the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro. Here I can connect any source I need via HDMI and then send one signal out to my streaming computer. And this makes it easier for me to be the producer while I'm also the speaker. Uh, and of course, for some of you, this is not necessary, but it makes life easier since uh, different clients use different streaming platforms. Now it doesn't matter if they say, let's go with Zoom or Google Hangouts or WebEx or YouTube, whatever. To me, it always works the same way. I have these uh, easy to follow buttons here, one, two, three, four, and then I, um, send this one signal out from the switcher to my computer. And my computer think that this is one webcam. So it doesn't matter what happens before this unit. It all goes out to one, uh, one signal to be one webcam. So if I want to show a slide like this, uh, I can do that. Of course, I can uh, um, go to video. I can use my keynote here. I can use um, picture in picture or like I did uh, before that, I can use my green screen. Um, if you want to go with a green screen setup, you have to think about light. The performance of your green screen depends on how even it is. If, uh, if the green down here in the corner is uh, the same as the green in the center, so no wrinkles, no shadows, you need lots of light. Uh, I have these LED lights here, one on each side, to, to get as much light as possible on the background and get it as, as even as possible. I think that's about it. That's uh, the basics of my setup. Of course, there are thousands of settings, uh, things you will have to play with and figure out uh, on your own. 
if you do something like this. Um, I'll try to answer any questions if you post them in the comment section. And also feel free to give your tips, your tricks, uh, your suggestions. Answer any questions yourself. I can't uh, take care of them all. Uh, in the end, the better we get at doing this, the better for all of us. Uh, this is not a question of competition. The worst thing that can happen to you is not if I am better at you at doing this. The worst thing that can happen to you is if I and other speakers out there give clients a bad experience. Um, if we all do this really good, um, then our clients will learn the value of digital speakers. And yeah, they can save tons of money now on digital conferences, airline tickets and hotels and food, but they can't cut the speaker fees. Um, I turn all those offers down right now. All the clients who want a rebate just because it's digital, uh, I think you should too. Um, digital or not, you need to prepare like you always did to put on a show. That's being the professional speaker. Remember, you are the presentation. I wish you the best of luck. We both need it.